Hello, this is Michael from UEN, and in this short screencast, I'm going to show you how to blend the best of both worlds, Google Docs and Canvas. With a Google Docs cloud assignment, you can easily assign a Google Doc to your students for them to edit a version or copy of their own. If you've used Google Docs with students, you know it can be quite a juggling act to make a doc shareable to students, something they can copy, rename, and share back to you. The nice thing about a Canvas cloud assignment with Google Docs is that all the hard work is done behind the scenes for you. So check out this short screencast about how to make a Google Docs cloud assignment in Canvas. Here I am in one of the classes where I'd like to add a Google Doc as an assignment for my students to complete. You could use this as a template or any variety of purposes. In this case, I've created a project planning template. So what I would recommend to do first is always go into Google Docs and create a new document. This one I've called Photo Project Plan. It has some brief directions at the top, followed by a list of requirements for the student and some questions. Ideally, each student will open this document and put in their own information before they submit it. So step one is create a document in Google Docs that you're going to assign. Step two is to start making the assignment. So here's a quick review of making assignments in Canvas. You can do this either from the Assignments menu item or from Modules. I'm going to click Assignments, which will give me a list of all the assignments in my course. To add a new assignment, I go to the upper right hand corner and click the blue Add Assignment button. If I was doing this from a module, it would look like this. First, I would click on Modules. Then I would choose the module where I wanted to add the assignment. Let's put it in the very first module. Next, I'll click the Add button on the module itself. Make sure it's on Assignments, then choose New Assignment and give it a name. And I'll call it Project Plan Google Doc so the students know this is the document that they had to complete on their own. Once I've added the item, if I do it from modules, I'll have to then click on the item and then click edit. Normally you'd put a lot of information in this section of the assignment right here, but all I have to do is say, please complete the Google Doc. The next step is to come down to the submission type and change this to an external tool. Using Google in Canvas is what's called an LTI or an app. Your school district has probably already installed this for you. So I will click Find and all of the LTIs that I have available to me appear in alphabetical order. There is Google Docs Cloud Assignment. After I've clicked on Google Docs Cloud Assignment, if I've never used Google Docs before, I'll be prompted to log in to my Google account. If I have used it before, I'll see that I'm logged in by my icon right there. And I can either start scrolling through all of my Google Drive files or I can start typing in the search for its name and it should appear right away. There it is, Photo Project Planning Template. I click Submit. After I click Submit, I click Select here in the Configure External Tool window. And now I'll see that the Google Drive LTI link is right here in the External Tool URL window. I can assign this to everyone or just a small group. Uh, for this demo, I'm just going to assign it to my student account. And then I give it a due date. And finally, come down to the bottom and click Save and Publish. Once I'm done saving, I'll see that the Google Doc has been embedded right in the Canvas window. But if this isn't large enough for me to edit, I can always click on the blue hyperlink right here and then it will be in full screen. So now I'm gonna log into the same course as a student and show you what it looks like on their end to complete the Google Doc. So here I am and I've gone into module one. I see that there is the project plan Google Doc. So I click on it once and it tells me to please complete the attached Google Doc. As a student, I have to authorize my account. Once I've done that, the Google Doc will appear much like it did for the teacher view, except I'm going to have a new button up here called Submit. 
So if I were to go through and complete this entire document, I'll tr which I'll do very quickly. So now as the student, once I'm finished with this Google Doc, I can come up and click the blue submit button and it is now turned in for my teacher to review. Let's go take a look real quick at what the teacher sees. So as the teacher, um, whenever I click on the assignment, I can go directly to SpeedGrader from the assignment by clicking this SpeedGrader shortcut up here. Now only one person has completed the assignment so far and that was me using a student account and so it will preview for me exactly what I typed in in the document and I have all the same annotation features that I would normally use in Google or Google Classroom. I can put a point annotation on something and then leave a comment for the student. I can also use the highlighter tool to highlight certain things and leave comments that way. I can also add in text notes. I can strike through any of theirs or just use the drawing tool as well. But anything you would normally do on paper or on Google, you can do here as well. You can then go in and give them a score and leave any comments. But the nicest thing about this is as you go through all of your students Google Docs, their version of the doc, which will be saved uniquely to them, will be visible to you in SpeedGrader and you don't have to worry about juggling any files or folders or anything like that in Google. It's all simple and easy and done for you right here in Canvas. It's called a Google Docs Cloud Assignment and I wish you luck with using it and thank you for watching.